welcome back to another episode of Bryce and Bakes. Today we'll be making an easy mac and cheese recipe. Okay, so you're going to start on your stove. You're going to want to add three. Oops, that shouldn't be happening. Make sure your pan's not too hot. Three tablespoons of butter to your pan. Then let that melt down. You don't want it really sizzling like mine's doing at the moment. And just wait for that to melt. While you're waiting on that to melt, you're going to want to add, well, you're going to want, for this recipe, you're going to want to want milk, flour, and any kind of cheese you want to put in the sauce. I did make two and a half pounds of macaroni, which will serve 11 people, because we have nine here today. Okay. Once your butter is all melted, you don't have to add as much as I did, because I'm making a bigger batch. You're going to want about add about half of a cup of flour into your butter, into your pan, or a third of a cup. Okay. You're going to want to turn that. Second, hold on, I'm having trouble. And then if it's too floury, you just add yourself some more butter, like mine is, and wait for it to turn all golden brown. I'll get you back when I get all of this butter melted. Once all your butter is melted and you've mixed it in with the flour, go ahead and add yourself some milk into the flour. It's going to be like a gravy. You're practically making gravy just with cheese. And wait until all that flour is um, broke up and if it's too thick just add some more milk I'm just gonna keep whisking this till all the flour is gone now you can see Once you've added, um, once you've mixed it all together and there's no more clumps, just add more milk that you need because you're gonna because you're gonna add cheese to this, which is gonna make it really thick. So you're probably gonna want it a little more thinner on the thinner side for this. Add salt and pepper to your mixture. Then I'm gonna go ahead. And add two kinds of cheese to this. I'm adding Kobe Jack and mild cheddar. And just add as much as you want. If you want it more on the cheesy side, add more cheese. If you don't want it so cheesy, don't have to add as much. Okay, I'm going to add my mild cheddar now. Just add in my Colby Jack. So it's gonna look like a cheesy gravy if you know what gravy looks like. Shh. 
Then just wait for your pasta noodles to cook. Mine aren't done yet, but I will show you them in the cheese sauce when they're done. Now I've drained my noodles and added them to a big bowl. I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese sauce to the bowl of my noodles. Okay, now I'm just going to want to fold the cheese sauce in to the noodles. Now you probably want to keep your milk out and add some more milk into it if it's too thick, which mine is. Okay, gonna want to add some more milk. Not too much though. It'll be watery. Then add you some salt and pepper and you'll be good. Here is the finished product of my mac and cheese. Hope you enjoy.